This is the life in Turkey. This is the life in Turkey. <laughs> Hey there, we are Chris, Charlene and Holly and we've been living and travelling in our motorhome for over a year now. Oh, At the moment we're exploring beautiful Turkey. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button to follow along our adventures every week. Good morning friends, welcome back to a new video. We're currently in the capital city of Turkey, Ankara. Last night we arrived uh, quite late and we parked in this parking lot. As you can see, Tandy's there behind me. Uh, a bit busy now, but at night it was really quiet. This place is very central and it only costs 20 lira per night and there's the security guard as well. Uh, that's about less than one euro, so I think we'll be staying here tonight as well. Excellent location as well because it's right in the center of the city. We've got one of the main mosques on this direction and a really beautiful park uh, this side, which we'll check out later on today. The plan is now to head into the city and explore a bit, see what Ankara has to offer. Are you still waiting? Yeah, I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. Um. Ready, let's go. So first stop for today is Turk Telecom because we're out of data and that means we're a bit lost. This is my number. Okay. I want this back. Okay. All done. Get them back, Kalim, we No, I don't have cards. Where? Where do we buy the cards? What is the you? We can't pay cash. Here? First time on the bus here in Ankara, or in Turkey actually. And um, it's pretty crazy driving here in the city. Apparently we should have like a bus card, which we haven't got. They let us on, so we'll um, check about that later. We've been on the bus about two minutes. <laughs> And they've already had nearly one accident. <laughs> Someone crossed in front of us. At least we got on a bus. The driver was very kind because he let us on, but he was a bit crazy as well. <laughs> <laughs> because the way he drove, oh my god. So we've now come to another area of the city where it's still busy as well, but there's supposed to be some old houses which we want to check out. Yeah. We saw some photos and they look absolutely beautiful. One thing that we've quickly realized about Ankara is that although it's a very busy city, there are a lot of parks as well. a lot of traditional Turkish houses and they are very well preserved and we can see the small details. And it's very surprising there are no cats or dogs in this area so Holly's back on the ground. We haven't met any in fact. So far and it's really strange because you normally find a lot nearby the restaurants. <laughs> it's so wonderful to walk in this small village inside Ankara. Yeah, I'm from Here is a local and he's going to explain to you all about this place. Here is the Hamam Ali, the historical place in Ankara. Since Ottoman Empire, this place used by some wazirs, Ottoman wazirs and the big people who worked in the government and in empire. So now a uh, municipality changed uh, the house and buy some of them and restore all of the bales and uh, make new coffee and new uh, cultural places and houses. Here mostly coffee, uh, coffee uh, in Hamamöne is working uh, depend on the Turkish coffee uh, as well as the Turkish uh, and Ottoman uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, foods. Tradition. Most of the, yeah, traditional, traditional foods food and uh, something gözleme, something mantı. This is the uh, traditional and historical uh, foods that uh, before, yeah. Look at this place, oh my god. What is this shop? You bring stuff in and swap them. 
Oh, look at this. It is so old. It's crazy the amount of things there are here. Very old items. And well, we've just been invited for a chai. No surprise there. Yeah. <laughs> Bene, bene. Bene, bene. Ankara, bene, bellissimo. Ankara, bene. Turchia, bene. bene. Malta, da bene. Sì. Eh, Italia, o Turchia, Italia. Mm. Anni. Ah, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Grazie mille. <laughs> I'm impressed because they are still using the cassettes here and listen to music like this. <laughs> well, not all of them, but most of them, they come here, choose their cassettes and then they play them with their friends or by the beach. <laughs> it's just incredible. Wow, I remember this. <laughs> Life was so easy before. Put the cassette in and listen to music. I remember me pressing the record button and the play button. Oh my god. When I was younger, my grandpa had plenty of these, I remember. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mio nonno, multi. Co questi multi. Multi? Molto. Molto, molto di questi. Mio nonno. Mio nonno. nonno. Mio nonno. Molto di questi. Che mojero. I wish I knew how to play. <laughs> Come, play us a song. This is so old. Come, play us a song. I have no idea what I'm doing now. <laughs> Surprisingly good. Right? This is the life in Turkey. This is the life in Turkey. <laughs> wow. How oh, nice. This is so old. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, Holly. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're okay, baby. <laughs> I've never seen a jump like that before. <laughs> it's okay, Holly. It's a little bit of fun. <laughs> Ciao, arrivederci. Ciao. Momento speciale. Adios. Adios, sì. Sí. Adios. <laughs> bye. Thank bye, you. Bye. <laughs>
stepped into the mosque, and this one is called Aslan Hane Mosque, and it dates back to around the 13th century, so pretty old. And the architecture here is absolutely stunning. The roof ceiling is made from wood and there are plenty of wood pillars. I think there are about hundreds. Even the columns here are made from wood. It's incredible to see. The facade and the woodwork of this mosque is absolutely fascinating. So the main difference between a church, like a Christian church, and a mosque is the middle. So basically, in a mosque, all you have normally is the carpet where people pray, and there's no furniture at all. But obviously, the detail then is around the walls. And as you can see, there's so much detail. It's just beautiful. So this is one of the thousands of mosques across the country. But it's one of the most beautiful ones here in Ankara, that's for sure. And you can clearly see its design from the Seljuk times. <laughs> She is singing that men pray here, first floor, and then women pray over there, the top, top floor. Quran. Quran. Yes, Quran. Said. yes. <laughs> I think these are the times of the prayer, and um, the next one is in 45 minutes. Wow. You okay, Holly? Holly's worried about the ceiling. You want to see it right now? <laughs> She's like, not feeling safe. Wow, this is actually in English. Goodbye. Bye. So we're just heading up to the castle now, and hopefully when we get to the top, we'll get some fantastic views of the city. If we make it, we go into the top. We try. <laughs> we try, least. yeah. It's very hot, but luckily it's a cloudy day today, so that's given us some strength at least. Yes, yes. Now, Ankara is the capital city of Turkey. Nearly six million people live here, so this place is huge. As you can probably tell by now, we've obviously left the coast, we head up to Cappadocia, and then now we're in Ankara. So, sadly, we're on the final leg of our journey, and it's our last few weeks here in Turkey. So, I'm after exploring sad. Ankara, yeah, me too. <laughs> but after exploring Ankara, the plan is to continue, um, check out some places around here, and then our next stop will be Istanbul in a couple of weeks' time. It's very strange, we haven't even seen one dog today. So we've been walking around Ankara. There was one in our parking lot, which I saw yesterday, but not even one single dog today. So really surprising. I don't know, maybe they're just relaxing under the tree. Oh, I'm seeing heat. two, look. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's... I just jinxed you myself. You are seeing this. I'm seeing two. <laughs> Look at the city beneath us. You looking for Holly? She's not here. Uh, Shah, where are you? Shah, where are you hiding? She, she saw them. So I came inside here to hide from the dogs and I found myself here. 
you know, art museum. It's an exhibition. Ankara Simidi, Simici. Now we're heading up to the castles to see the view from there. So from up here you can see the whole of Antalya. We've got the business district. Uh, this is where we were parked last night and when we started off our day. The city continues all the way this way. We've got a castle here and then like some older houses down in this direction. It's absolutely gorgeous to be up here and look at this view of Ankara. We can now understand the population of Ankara and how big this city is and we are enjoying the views because we have 360 degrees views of Ankara. There is a beautiful breeze as well which we are enjoying so much because down there it's just very dry and there is no wind so up here at least we have a little of a little bit of breeze. And the sun's out again. Yeah just very warm and I have this on as well. Ah. <laughs> wow, there's a cat! Public enemy number one. Look at this! Look at this roof! Everyone chucks their bottles of water on this roof. So unfortunately a lot of the houses in the surrounding area of the castle are falling to bits. They're really in bad shape and um, it seems like people still live there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. This is so good though. Siminche. We saw them everywhere. So today we had to try it because we never bought one. And I must say, this is really good. <laughs> try it. Amazing. Mm? Mm. It's very soft. After the bread, here we are having Limonata. Thank you very much. Yeah, This is the shop that they do very different types of wood statues. I really like the horse. This cafeteria also sells these kind of things made from marble and gold maybe. And I really like this one. So I got the ingredients for a special dish that they do in Cappadocia. It is called Mutanchana and I am going to try it because it's really good. I tried it last year and I'm gonna do it this week. I'm having lemonade this time because Again. it's too warm. So I need this right now. Yeah, we've had too much lemonade and too much chai today, that's for sure. We stopped at this place to have Turkish meatballs because as we were going down, this smell was really strong and we had to come in and try them. <laughs> so this is the plate for today. We're gonna enjoy them. We just love this place. It's so unique and there's a lot to see and we love every little bit of it. <laughs> the road that leads up to the castle is filled with artist jobs and these are um, for example carpet shops, woodwork shops, jewelry, coffee shops. They are so nice and I think this is what makes this road more special. Yeah, this part of Ankara leading up to the castle is definitely different from the rest of the city. 
and there's a mix of everything like as Charlie mentioned these kind of shops like your food shops as well and you've got people that actually live here as well yes. but yeah it's quite a, a bit of a mix of things that you see here in this area of, Antalya, of Ankara sorry <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Antalya so much easier when you're walking downhill and today was a very good day for Holly because she did her exercise for the whole week yeah <laughs> I just love the fact that in a city like this, you get to walk with your dog very easily. And there aren't a lot of people in such streets like this that we are walking on today. It is busy, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, it's not as other cities are. So we've made it back to the park, which means we're very close to the van. But before we call it a day, we're going to go and visit one more mosque, which is very close by to where we're parked. And it's one of the largest mosques here in Ankara, I think. It's yes. huge. As you can see, Charlene's got her scarf on. scarf on already. And hopefully they'll let us in with Holly. With this on, I look like Turkish. Free ride for Holly, free ride. So it's really funny because a lot of people are stopping to take photos of Charlene and Holly. <laughs> <laughs> they don't really see many pet dogs and when they do, they're not being carried about in a backpack. Yeah. So Holly's one lucky girl. So we've just arrived now at the mosque and as you can see, we're just in time for sunset. This mosque is called Melike Hatun and it's one of the largest here in Ankara. Very beautiful from the inside as much as it is from the outside. And it's so huge that it fits up to 7,000 people here for prayer. So mosques are not only used for prayer services, they are also used for weddings and Ramadan festivals. And people also can come here and study because it's very quiet. I'm sure you heard some of the prayer callings and that's because Muslims pray five times a day. So Ramadan is a one month of fasting from sunrise to sunset. And luckily we didn't come at that time. At the end of every Ramadan, people gather here to celebrate. Oh, this place is amazing. Yes, truly. is on and everyone is gathering a lot of people are coming here to pray so we went in just in time yes just before their prayer and to see them gathering here to pray is something incredible as well because they are so dedicated they do the one month fasting you know and they are True believers. <laughs> wow, now the lights are on. Woo! Wow. Beautiful. Now this is a beautiful mosque if ever I've seen one. It's a magnificent. Inside we could see inscriptions and the dominance of the blue and white colors and it's very huge. And with the lights on, it looks even better. Alhamdulillah. 
We're home. <laughs> Honey so enjoyed her ride. Yeah. So happy to be home. Oh, even me. It was a long day. Absolutely wonderful day in Ankara. I feel exhausted. I don't know about you, but... Yeah, super tired, but we really enjoyed exploring this place. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, please hit the like button as it helps us out so much. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel because we've got travel videos every Sunday. And then we'll see you next week for a new one. Bye. Bye. Singing the song. We're, singing. <laughs> We're so happy that we went inside two mosques. Which one was your favorite? Both of them. <laughs>